All right, today we're going to look at polynomial functions, uh, graphs, and given only the graphs being able to find like the degrees, the leading coefficients, and how many solutions these these graphs have. So first off, I want to figure out what's the degree of my problem. Uh, here I have a parabola. Okay, parabola is always going to be an exponent of two, so we know that this is going to be a degree. Two. Can we name this by the degree? Sure. Anything with degree two, quadratic. Okay. Um, now, leading coefficient. So I want to know whether or not the leading coefficient of this problem is either going to be a positive problem or a negative problem, a positive or a negative number. So, for example, if I have y equals x squared. Something with an x squared is going to give us that parabola. How could I make that parabola turn upside down? Having y equals negative x squared. And that flips that graph right here. What's going on? Well, our graph is upside down. We must have a negative number out in front. So we then say our leading coefficient is just negative. We can say that. Uh, and then I want to know how many solutions or how many roots or how many zeros do we have in this? Well, uh, a solution, a root, a zero, three words, meaning all the same stuff. How many times do we cross the x-axis? One, two, we have two solutions. Okay, so let's take a look at this next one. Um, I see I have one, two turns in my graph meaning I should have a degree three. Remember, there's a relationship between how many times a graph turns versus the degree. Degree is always going to be one more than the turns. Uh, something with a degree three, we can call that by a name, and that name is cubic. And now I want to find out whether or not we have, what our leading coefficient is, whether or not it's positive or negative. Okay, so let's go back to the general graphs of polynomials. If we kind of think backwards to those. Uh, something that says y equals x, your line will look like that. Something that says y equals x to the third ended up looking like that. So when you have a positive problem, you have a positive slope. Here, it looks like my red line is kind of like flipped. So like the quadratic where we had a negative x squared to make that thing, to make that whole parabola flip, same thing happens here. If I have a negative out front, this graph then does the opposite. These arrows, instead of pointing where we are, instead of going like that, now go like that. So for us, is our leading coefficient positive or negative? This one's going to be negative again. I want to find out the number of solutions. How many times we cross the x-axis? Well, in the general graph, we could cross up to three times because they match up with our degree. But this specific graph, how many times does it cross that x-axis? Only once. So we only have one solution. All right. Uh, next one here, I have one, two, three, four turns in my graph. Four turns, meaning we're going to have a degree five. Okay. Uh, degree five, we call quintic, special name. And leading coefficient, is it going to be positive or negative? Well, if I look at my arrows, we've got something going in that direction. If I were to just stretch that out, that's a positive slope. So since that's positive, it's all I care about. I want to know number of solutions. Number of solutions could be however, it could be the maximum amount of what the degree is, how many times you cross. But in this case, we only cross one, two, three times. So three solutions. And lastly, 
what kind of degree do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five turns, meaning degree six. Uh, do we have a special name for that? No, we don't. We just call that six degree polynomial. Uh, leading coefficient. Well, if we were to refer back to that first one over here where we said y equals x squared has a parabola opening up, but then y equals negative x squared opens down, odd and even functions, they all, they all kind of, they, 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 all, they all work the same. So normally, we want this. That's your basic positive function. Both these arrows are pointing up. Our leading coefficient, positive. How many solutions, how many times do you cross the x-axis? We never hit it. So we have no solutions. And that is polynomial functions. They're graphs, finding degrees, leading coefficients, and their solutions.